Hello there.
cool. Woohoo! Scared the fuck out of me, man. <gasps> That's not quite a safe place. I'll look for another room. I I figured it out again. The fucking settings reverted again. It went from monitor and output to just monitor. So only I could hear it. That's <laughs> fucking I'm like, I hear it just fine, guys. You're all insane. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> oh OBS. Yes. Uh, I was thinking of that clip where the girl said this isn't a safe space. Um uh Ikai. I-K-A-I. Echo is on. What do you mean by echo is on? A reverb? Does anyone else hear a reverb? Now you're just fucking with me, Soma. <laughs> Goddamn sabotaging motherfucker. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. This <laughs> has on two browsers. So, um, anyways, hi everybody. Welcome in. It's Wednesday. Um, weird early stream today. I actually have to go into an office space tomorrow. Oh, right. It'll be cool though. It's nice. I guess I can interact with human beings, you know, beyond a computer screen. Good luck with that commute. Yeah, there's no luck with that, we know. Uh, so I'm going to be hanging for a bit. Um, and then I'm probably going to head to bed a little early because I don't trust myself to wake up on time ever. Boo office. <laughs> uh, however, we are going to start off because as you probably noticed, right there, we still have a lot more fucking hot sauces to catch up to because I've been really taking my time with it. For obvious reasons, because I don't want to fucking die. By the way, speaking of dying, if you didn't catch the YouTube video that dropped today of me eating the 9 million Scoville unit gummy bear, get on it. Get on it. Uh, but yeah, let's do... So we owe, what, six more plus one left over. We'll do three more tonight. This sounds very familiar. What is it? Please update. Please. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Anyways, let's go spin some wheels and figure out what hot sauce is going to kill me tonight. No 12s today. I got a 12 last night. I don't need another one. I got a 9. Okay. I'll take the 9. And yeah, I know I forgot. I forgot. I was supposed to do this and drop it all, take it out of the fucking fridge first. And I forgot. Sorry. I'll get it right next time. Okay. So we said it was number nine. Bird boy boo. <laughs> oh, number nine was right there. Cool. Uh, next one. Sixteen. Excuse me. I need a better. I need some white out to draw on these or some shit. Or write the goddamn list down. That'd be smart. All these great ideas I have while I'm streaming, and then I don't... I just don't do it. <laughs> okay. It's gotta be one of these. 13, 16. Last one, of course. Okay. Another spin. Now that all the hot sauces are on the goddamn top here. <laughs> Please, spin, sir. There we go. 
I already had nine once. We don't double dip around here. Because that's boring. 15. All right. I'm not I'm not feeling this song. I recognize the band, but it's just it's too funky for me. Why is this not working? Oh, cuz OBS, right. Is it share? No, it's 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 I don't think it's share at all. Why is this no longer working all of a sudden? All right, whatever. This is a good choice. I don't know why my Skip buttons and pause buttons aren't working. Hmm. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> thanks. I need 15. <laughs> That's 15. All right. We got our three. Uh, we have number nine. Let me remember to... Transition first. Number nine. And then we have, um, let's see. The Gonzo Verde. I haven't had this one in a while. The level two hot. <laughs> Sereno chilies, tomatillos, yellow seven pot chilies, roasted onion. Garlic, cilantro, vinegar, fresh lime juice, and spices. Easy. Next one, the Bahan Star. This one is level three hot. Dadle pepper mash, carrots, onion, horseradish root, mustard, vinegar, spices. Okay. Nine's going to be the worst one, probably, because it's not going to taste good, and it's going to burn like a fuck. Because these little hot sauces, for those who don't know, are shit. They don't taste good, and they burn a lot. <laughs> well, cheers to y'all. Welcome in. Oh. Have to live before you die young. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it just doesn't taste good. I remember when this band was really good. Although, I guess the latest album I did enjoy. But the old mellow death days are long gone. That's okay. Alright. Here's the Gonzo Verde. Oh, it's so good. Has a very nice kick to it, though. But, uh... I could use this on anything, really. I could put that on cereal, for Christ's sakes. But don't do that. Ooh. Okay. One more. <sighs> Getting ass reflex from here. <laughs> Hey, Omeprazole is a fucking great piece of medication that I have to fucking take anyways. <laughs> but uh, sleeping propped up helps a lot. <laughs> also, just don't do this. It's not good. So yeah, here's the, uh, the Bahan Star. This one's actually hot and tastes like... There's a lot of carrot in this, I remember, but there's a lot of horseradish too. Does your gastroenterologist know you're chugging hot sauce? Because I feel like they might not approve. My gastroenterologist would actually be really cool about that. He'd really enjoy it because he doesn't care how many times I come in to get knocked out for 20 minutes and then he could shove pipes down my throat. My allergist, though, would not approve. <laughs> Just your life insurance provider. Uh, nope. 
the life insurance policy I have, I never have to get checked again. And it's like, here's the money I'm going to make regardless. So it's, uh, well, not that I make. I'm going to be dead. <laughs> but there's going to be a nice egg for whoever the fuck is going to get it. My assumption would be my wife, unless I outlive her, which would be... It's not going to happen. I'm going to get a beer, and then uh, I think it'll be time for some inscription. Uh, give it to Keith Richards. God damn it. Uh, yeah. I'm excited to see you play this. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so I, I harp about this guy, these guys all the time. Island Dog Brewing uh, up in Portland, Maine, if you happen to be in that area, uh, or I'll just bring you. Uh, they make fantastic beers, and I actually have brewed beers with them before, believe it or not. Uh, and this one is actually their uh, Boo, which is um, it's a pumpkin saison. It's obviously got pumpkin in it, and maple, and natural flavors, they say. But it's actually quite good. You don't just happen there. I happen there quite often. I like going up there. Fuck yeah. Ugh. I will right, we'll jump over in a second. It's the big climax of the song. Can't cut you off before the climax now. But yeah, we're not going to sit for the rest of the song because that's a whole nother four minutes. So, <laughs> like four minutes, it's already been two and a half songs. Climax of Daddy. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. Oh, oh. Woo. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Everyone give a good uh, thanks and uh, welcoming to Doc Islands. He actually purchased this game for me. Why? I don't know. Just being a good guy, I suppose. Because I probably wouldn't have bought it anyways. Uh, but here we are. I said I'd play it. We're going to play it. Uh, and apparently, from what I understand, is it's a hard like salted card building game so uh it's because i thought the purchase button was a worm oh my. god damn it this game is not in fact for the birds oh that's good <laughs> oh that was what the fuck come on there it is okay i'm ready let's uh uh, is this going to pause now, by the way? No, because you're a fucking douchebag. I have no idea why these buttons on the stream deck don't want to work anymore. Oh, well. Oh, look, the volume works. <laughs> what the fuck? Fine, whatever. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, hold up. Can't fucking see shit. There we go. All right. So this is what happened when I started the game. Um, obviously, there's a button to press here. I just wanted to show I wasn't touching anything. I can make adjustments for bullshit afterwards. Daniel Mullins games. So that's just the Newgrounds background. Got it. Devolver Digital. It's on what thing? Is this a VHS tape? <clears throat> cool. Okay. New game. Continue. Options. Credits and quit. Very basic stuff. That's all I want. Options. Oh, look at that. Dialogue text speed. 
Okay, I see. Excuse me, that's actually not too bad. A little PC spinning up sound. Yeah. Screen shake. I guess I'll leave it on. Flicker FX. I'm going to shut the Flicker FX off. I don't think I want those because I don't want to get fucking flash banged. Uh, leave it that resolution. That's fine. All right, is the full screen. Noise effects? Sure. I guess the quality of the graphics is... It's not going to get that fucking crazier than that. Uh, pause when window not focused. Yes, please. Okay. There's no flash bang as far as I know. Leave the flashing on. Oh, okay. Just the white oof. I don't know why the apply is only on one window, but that's fine. Okay. Cool. I uh, can only continue game, I see. That's interesting. Hmm. As if someone had started playing this game before and then never got to finish it. What is this, the, the next version of Jumanji? Ho, 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 so it begins again. Yes, Christmas. Oh, those are the fucking eyes that, uh... Oh, God. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. What the fuck? Okay, play the squirrel card? Why am I going to listen to you like that? Just tell me to play a card. Squirrel. I don't... I think I put it in the left one. Now play your stoat. Oh, S. Stoat. Oh, oh, no, sorry. M mummy, sorry. Oh, I put it in the same spot. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, it has to eat the squirrel. Okay. An honorable death. Play the sto <laughs> stoat. Interesting. All right. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power one. And then the, th the three I'm assuming is health. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. Well, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Fun fact, working title for this game was Sacrifices Must Be Made. Wow. My turn. Coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. Ow. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. Naturally. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Well, I don't know if the squirrel is going to help me do much or anything, except I could use... I could get a wolf. Let me get a squirrel card. How dull. Fuck you, buddy. Let's play the squirrel card. Right? And then I play the wolf card. Who needs one and two? Huh? Hey. Fear not the beast of sacrifice, but not removed from your deck. Ooh. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Nice. Well. Because you are learning, I will pass. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's just interesting strategies. I really picked up on that immediately. I almost didn't. I almost went right past the thing and like, oh, let me see what other cards I can get then. There might be something else. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. Well, the squirrel now would give me another... I'm assuming I only pick one or the other and then that's it and play with what I have. I can't put another wolf down without two sacrifices, so... I think I want to see what happens here. River Snapper. You are lacking sacrifices for that creature. Okay, so the wolf has to take uh, take a hit here. 
or I won. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, because he uh, he passed. He didn't put anything down. He passed again. Oh, this requires two as well. I see the two blood drops. Interesting. So I have to grab a squirrel. I have to put the squirrel down. And I think that's all I can really do. Because I'm not going to sacrifice that wolf for this wolf. He's got the same health that he did before. And it'd be a waste of a squirrel. Ring the bell. You've won this match. No, I wanted to keep going. I wanted to put the river snapper. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't just like playing the card game in Witcher. This is like literally some like whole board game adventure story on top of a card game. Oh, my goodness. You were lost deep in the forest. This <laughs> yeah! A single path revealed itself. Well, okay. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Right. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Wow, that's fucked. And the other one. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Okay. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Oh. I feel like I have enough, um, like two sacrifices. I need something in the middle that's gonna be one. And the cat seems to be many lives. When a card bearing this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Right, and I, I thought that was a good play. Although it doesn't hurt. Hmm. Oh, well, you're gonna play, you might not want to watch the stream. There's all sorts of cool stuff to learn for the first time. Oh, Soma, okay. Wow, so... Doc Islands doesn't like your pizza and doesn't like your presence in the stream. I think he has something against you, Soma. So now that I think of this... <clears throat> the whole purpose of this is to go out there and do what? It doesn't do any damage, it has one health. And I'd have to sacrifice something to get it. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just not... Birds' opinions don't matter, though, so it's okay. Yeah. yeah I'll just, I, I think I'm going to get the adder. Forget it. Just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling the cat once I thought about it. Maybe I overthought it. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Uh-oh. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in the bottle, breaking case of emergency. Cool. And have a second. Okay. Another useful implement. It'll uh, I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay. Cool. But now we have a. It looks like we have a fight coming up now. A boulder. Two stumps. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Do I doing W? No, I can't look at... Oh. Oh, I could see back there, yeah. Fledgling, a card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one of the, one turn of the board. Oh boy. Yu-Gi-Oh's Oregon Trail. Huh. <laughs> Just I'm in a drone doesn't mean I'm not real. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Press W twice? Oh, okay. Wolf Cub. Interesting. So it'll turn into a wolf after one turn. Makes sense.
So yeah, I have to put a squirrel down. And I obviously can't put it there because it's the wrong side. I guess I'll put it here. And then I'll get the stoat. He was so mad at me, he wants to have another chance. Here we go. And uh, I can't put those two down. And I'm not going to grab those quite yet. Look at you charging yourself on our power lines, you fucking surveillance bitch. Wow. Oh, why is it attacking this stuff? My the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. I, yes, I get that, but fuck. All right, let me take another squirrel. Place it, oh, place it here. And uh, yeah, I don't want to have a wolf. I'm gonna burn one of these. There we go. Let's see, we have one attack, one attack, one attack. He's got more, a lot more health. Yeah, we'll use him because he's got the poison thing. Let me hold on to that. So let's kill this two squirrels, and we'll move this guy here. And I can't put the adder on. I'm not gonna do anything else yet. So. Next. Fuck. I couldn't get to him. I don't think it would have worked. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, that's pretty cool, but fuck you for having that card, dude. Okay, that's not good. Um, how the fuck is this going to work? I need to get something there. I don't know why I put, I think it was an attack diagonally. That was so stupid on my part, but now I understand. So I should have put him here because he would have combated the bat, just f combated the bat. Um, fuck it, let's go all in at this point. Fuck, I can't go all in, can I? Because I can't put the squirrel on top of the squirrel. More like combat? Jesus Christ. Alright, at least that'll stop it from... You know you could play more than one card. How oh, my bat flew right over your squirrel. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's get another one of these. Put it here. And then we'll put the adder in for the two squirrels. And since these don't fucking attack, like, diagonally, I gotta kill the wolf. Because I, I don't know if the snake's gonna be able to reach the bat. I don't know if that works that way. So we're gonna put it directly, even if there's a creature posing it. Alright, so it doesn't really state either way. You learn one way or another. Yeah, true. The problem is if I don't put something here, the wolf's just gonna be attacking the whole time, which is three. I gotta put it here. I gotta go up to the big boy. Alright, let's see what happens. That worked. Okay. You've lost. You see, this says learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Atop the barrel, atop the door. The barrel above the door, he said? Ooh, that's kind of fucking creepy. You said beside... Oh, beside the door? The fuck was that? Oh, that barrel. Okay. Bring it here. Okay. Got our... What was that? Can I... Can I... Okay. Never mind. I tried. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just now sit back down. 
All right. Bam. Oh, I thought you won. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. Oh, no. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. <laughs> if you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. Or the sparrow. They make sparrow an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Mmm. Both require one sacrifice, which is so one squirrel. Um. And the flying one. Card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Which is good. And then this guy just means, yeah, he just becomes more powerful. He becomes a wolf after one turn. I like the concept of the wolf more than the flying thing. A little bit more health on the sparrow, but I feel like the wolf cub is worth it's worth more in the long game. Alright, what's this? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. This isn't good. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh, fuck. Why do I have to do between those two? I want this guy and I just picked him up. Lurking, love you. Thank you, Heavy. God damn it. So my dog said I had dementia. I didn't remember asking. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I guess I have another uh, two sacrifice. I have a couple two sacrifices versus just the one. Uh, I'm sorry, Adder. <laughs> you looked upon your what fucking word is that? Menagerie? And selected a healthy host. Pick me. <laughs> My fellow Heyo. Um. Wow, he really wants his... Uh, oh, it's probably going to bring him back. Because he's supposed to be like dead-ish or something. Fine, he said pick me. He was being nice. What an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the otter now lives in the stoat. Ooh. And what if that means he could become poisonous? We're going to find out. What is that? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Why do you get to have that? All right, uh, let's see where his shit is. He's got a flying coyote and a flying bat. Great. All right, well, they both hurt for two and they're both flying. Where's my wolf cub? Okay, and then I only have one squirrel to use there. What does this actually do? So you, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh. Okay. So I can't really do anything else then. Let's see what happens. So I see. Ow. Now I'm a wolf. Great. Now I grab this. This. Boom. 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 Eat shit, bitch. Why does he get to put down? Oh, of course he can put down more. That's the whole point. <laughs> um. All 
the squirrel won't survive on that block. So I can pick it up, put it there, and the next one do the same thing. Okay, uh, yeah, all right, all right. We'll play it safe, we'll play it safe. Put it there. Because those two are going to attack anyways, so it's going to add, yep, yep. You're two damage away from winning. Yep, go ahead. Boop. And now we grab another squirrel. We put the remaining squirrel here. Take the wolf. Sacrifice the two squirrels. Put the wolf here. Kill the flying piece of shit. Get some damage. We win. Boom. You're a furry. Knew it. Wow. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. I don't have any wood to... No. Okay. New cards? Three to choose from. Uh, Ripper Snap and Stalwart Snapper. A near impenetrable defense. Yeah, I already have one. With a mushroom right there? What the fuck was that all about? The Proud Wolf. A vicious contender. I already have plenty of them. Or the Skunk. <laughs> the Reviled Skunk. Its, ten its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. That's cool. That's pretty fucking cool. And three health, it could take a hit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take this gun. That's pretty fucking cool. Get the fuck up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I have to choose between a fireplace and sacrificing something. I guess I'll do the fire because I don't know what the hell that is. Jesus. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Oh boy. We need to, uh... Can we go? Can we leave? No, this is a bad decision. Um. Let's send one of the wolf out, I guess. Because I feel like it's going to die. And I can replace it with a wolf cub anyways. Oh, it actually worked. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gashed their teeth. Or gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Ooh. That was scary. Nashi. Okay. So they automatically give you a squirrel first, which is interesting. Um, so let's see. What do we have here? Oh my fuck. Oh, I, what am I supposed to do with that? I guess that, but I don't have two things to sacrifice. I can't pick up another squirrel. Fuck. I guess I have to just, I have to take a hit. Let's do it. Ow! Okay, so it pulls it a well-earned point of damage. Holy shit. No, you don't have to play a card each turn, right? You can keep your squirrels in your hand and play them all at once if you want to. I know I'm just trying to put stuff on the board to like play defense a little bit. I didn't think you would really do it. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Now I have two squirrels again. Oh, whoops. Attack! 
God, fucking die. <laughs> It's my only move. All right, now I need another animal. Skunk, I'm not sacrificing that, nope. Ooh, evens up game. Uh. Take us one of these. I can't see what he has next. I guess I'll put the squirrel here. And then the skunk I'll put here. Oof. Uh, more. Another wolf. Okay. Can't do anything with it. That's fine. I won. Holy shit. Not yet, Spore, but I heard good things. More cards either way, plus campfire, which that didn't last long for me. Or some bat. What did I just do? Okay, sorry. Wait, I can get up and leave? I wonder how there's a way to get this dagger. Interesting. I posted in Tarkov chat weeks ago, fam. I don't actually read Discord. Come on, fam. Lots of stuff I can clearly grab here, but it's not going to let me. I'm what they call in the field the professional idiot. Whoa. That's rude. Alright, more cards. A porcupine. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. So it's got a one attack, two heart, and it's got a, a one sacrifice. The grizzly, the monstrous grizzly. Form speaks enough of its fish efficacy, Arr. but three, bro, and the elk, the flighty elk, it moves after attacking. Interesting. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the strikers then dealt a single damage point. Okay, that's interesting. This is just strong and healthy. And then the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed by the sigil. Oh, so it goes to the right. I see. Hmm. I kind of want the grizzly. I just want to know what it's like. So you can't go back the other way. Just wanted to ch double check that. Good. So we got here. A boulder. A rock may get you out of a hard place. A black goat. Its bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Huh? Choose one. Tooth, folder. I think I like the, the black goat because that gives me three. And it can give me a grizzly. I think that's good. Although the boulder has five health, it'll block for me getting hit. So that's a really good last line of defense as well. And then grabbing the tooth will just throw something um, on the other side. All three are good choices, honestly. Huh. Five heart versus six heart of the bear. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the, the black goat. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Or a squirrel to start off. So the user of your creatures will attack as though they have the airborne sigil this turn. That's pretty cool. To the user your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. And then just a squirrel. Uh, 
I think because I got the goat, I need to have a squirrel at all times. And I think I want to keep him around. So I can grab them both immediately. And then these last ones, again, this is to get the airborne sigil. Uh make the boulder or pull it to i think the boulder is the next best thing i could do here i want a bird leg fan that looks queen as fuck <laughs> cool all right feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carried on what is this the boss fight uh-oh the tree seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended in the distance you could hear the clinking of metal on stone a hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-haw! Twas the Prospector. The old Prospector. Did you actually play it? <laughs> what in the fuck? A pack mule is going to move to the right every time. But it doesn't do any damage, so that's fine. Coyote. <laughs> mm. No, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to read it. Loses one power. Okay. So after two rounds, he'd be worthless. That's interesting. That could be a good trade-off. This thing's not gonna hurt, it's just gonna move around. Oh. I think I'm gonna do that. I think it's an interesting play and I wanna go for it. This offends me. <laughs> good. All right. Wait, what was underneath it? What happened to it? I want to look at the board, you dick. So what is it on top of there? It's weird. It's got two left. Okay, that's good. What the hell noise was that? And then he also has another coyote coming in. Hmm. Okay. Do I take the squirrel or do I take something else? Could be a one. Hmm. Let me take the squirrel. All right, no point in putting the squirrel on the board. This is awfully loud. Let's see what happens. Wait, why didn't I? Why didn't it attack him put him down to zero? Shit. Well, that's different. Okay. Um. I can't play my stinking walk on yet? Oh, no. Um. Nothing back there. I can use it as a sacrifice because he's about to die anyways. I could put a wolf out to combat the coyote. I think that's a good idea. Oh wait, he's draw a card first, right? What's under the pack mule? I don't know. Does it let me look? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed by the sigil. The creature present card bearing this sigil loses one pack. Wait, no. I don't know what's underneath it. I don't know how to really determine that. Oh, I thought it was d d uh, taking it down by one at each turn. Which is, I mean, it's still good. It slows him down. I'm just confused at... I don't understand what's underneath that. I can't tell. And it doesn't look like a way I can figure that out. It just tells me what the sprinter is. 
There's like nothing I can do around here. Hmm. All right, so in this regard, yeah, let me grab the squirrel. One, a two. Wait, hold up. Let me put the stronger one out there. All right, attack. Okay. What is that noise? Kill it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> um, let's see. I shouldn't have used a fucking second squirrel. I should have just used one and sacrificed the fucking skunk and I forgot. It's a juicy fucking goddamn thing here. Please give me... Oh. Now give me the boulder. Fuck it. I'm gonna block him for now. And then, uh, ring the bell. One sh- That thing just one-shotted me? I didn't realize how much health I had on that fucking thing. That sucks. Oh no. Uh, not good. All right, we're calling in the big heavies then. <laughs> Unless I pull something crazy right now. Wolf Cub actually will do well. I can do this. Calling the big heavies. Wait, where the fuck's my grizzly bear? Oh, I have to fucking pull it. I selected the grizzly, but it's still in the deck. I don't know why I thought I had it. That's true, I can't do that. Oh well. It's the best we got. Alright. He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss, the mules... Why are you a dingleberry here? All right, I'm not going to put you in for any of those. Next. Nice. One life down. Hope you didn't think it would be that easy. No, of course not. There's gold in them cards. Gold, I've struck gold. Did he just kill all my cards? In the world? I can't do anything because I have no room, so I guess I'm just gonna go. Alright, let's see. A bloodhound and a coyote. I could pull another card out here. There's the fucking grizzly! I know, I hit the wrong button. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Okay. You cannot sacrifice the gold things. Fair enough, I hit the wrong button. The grizzly don't get turned into gold. This is true. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the stone in there. I can't because the one I wanna put into is there's gold nuggets there. That's not cool, but I guess he can kill, he could kill 
the Bloodhound. When opposing creatures place objects to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, fuck. Back on the board. Yeah, except now you're gonna die. Okay. Give me a squirrel. And go. Yikes. I guess I could just sacrifice him, but... Because it's only doing one damage. And then what do I go after? Probably the... Not the point. I have to kill the coyote. Leave the adder alone. Draw the squirrel and turn all three into the grizzly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wow, seriously? <laughs> And I'll put it in front of the coyote. And the adder. I'll just, it's only a one hit point anyway. This guy's got two. Okay. I need more. I need another card. The river snapper. That's right. I can't use it yet, but here we are. Oh! Dag nab it, my mule. <laughs> Let's go. Do I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. And then I lost anyways. Motherfucker. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. My day is ruined too. River snappers, what we call bird's asshole. That's fucked. Damn, I almost did it. Almost. If I hadn't fucked up with the grizzly early on. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to, to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here's some cards from your mediocre deck. We could put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Take the wolf. I want to keep the grizzly at all costs. It costs two blood from the wolf. Oh, okay, I did the right thing. And another, this time I will use its power and health, the numbers. Mm, give me give me another river snapper looking thing maybe or another wolf mm, I don't know maybe I get a different sigil choice too let's go with the snapper one power and six health in the river snapper now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils ooh I like that idea that means it's gonna get bigger a sigil of fledging from the wolf cub. Oh, yeah. I never did ask you your name. Jug. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. <laughs> All right, enough of the flashbang. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. When I read the description, I thought you were going to be bent down on your hands and knees, hammering nails into boards and making an actual deck. Boomer I am. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, because that's what I'm doing at this time. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Interesting. 
We got the stoat. We got a wolf and a squirrel. He's got a rattler. Fuck. Well, okay. And I get a... Nice, I get that. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. So you get bones even from the sacrificing. That's cool. Gotta go on a fortune to have fun. Oh, thanks, Doc. Appreciate you gifting me this game. This is actually pretty fun. Um, it, I think I was expecting something different, and I was happily surprised. So thank you. A deck-building horror game. Yes. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Lurk de dirk. Okay, I can't really do anything else yet. I'm going to hold on to the emergency squirrel. Attack. Moves forward. Why does he get to attack after moving, though? That's kind of garbage. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. So this will kind of work like a, a squirrel in and of itself. So if I grab another squirrel, and I put the possum on the board... I put the squirrel on the board, sacrifice those two, get those two back, and then drop the wolf, and then play it. Dead. Another rattler. Great. Um, it's going to kill him in one shot, which sucks. I need another card, which is the bullfrog. He can fly? Wow. Card bearing the sigil will block in opposing creature bearing. The oh, no, it's blocking the airborne sigil. That doesn't help. Inscription is very good. Yes. All right. Um, I don't think I need to put him on just yet. Let me let me wait. Because that still hurt. That hurt him. I have no more cards. I can pick up a squirrel. I can then put the squirrel here. And I could play the bullfrog. And I can at least injure him. Or oh, kill him. I didn't think he, I thought he had more health. All I could do is put squirrels on the board now. And it doesn't matter. Sick. That's what's up. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Where the fuck is it? It's beside the safe. Your thing, bro. Interesting. Just a little framed picture of what this looks like. Yeah, Alright. What else did you do? Okay, different. Got it. Oh, this is all different information about the appendix. Cool. All right. Let us continue. More cards. We got the coyote, the meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? You need four bones to put him down? Damn. Rattler needs six. The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. Or the cockroach. Unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. The card bearing the sigil perishes. A, group of it, a copy of it is created in your hand. A group. <laughs> cockroach isn't a bad idea. Although four bones is it's like shit. Like if it was two, it'd be a fucking killer. But the rattler sounds like fun. It's a six. I kind of want to do the cockroach. I want to make sure I have something at all times. And getting bones, I feel like it's going to be possible if I just keep dying. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I mean, I knew that already. Oh, this is my deck. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. I'm gonna go touch your shit. I'm touching your shit. 
I'm touching your shit. Touching your shit. Touching your shit. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's play. To the bag. Squirrel, boulder, or tooth. Boulder's pretty fun. Okay, can't put the cockroach down. The bullfrog we could put down, though. But what does he have over here? He's got a coyote and a sparrow. The coyote's only got one health, so that's going to be an easier kill. He only does a one, a one hit anyways. But he also has good defense against the flying type. The carbon decision will block an opposing creature bearing me. Oh. Oh, no, we know. We got to put that on the board in front of the other guy. Here you go, squirrel. You go there. Mr. Bullfrog. Kill the squirrel. Put the bullfrog there. All right, cool. Blocked. Wait, I thought he was supposed to block it. Why did that hurt? That seems kind of silly. Grab one of these. That's see, that doesn't block the attack at all. That just killed him. I'm very confused. All right. Well, now I gotta put the wolf down. So that will kill this guy. And then do I have four? I think I do. Let's see how he does. Yeah! I watched Fish play this game and I still don't get it. <laughs> I think I'm just dumb. No, it's... it's. There's a lot of strategy... A lot more strategy than I thought involved. It's it's quite interesting. Alright, let's leave the squirrel on the boulder up there. Um, Let's get another card. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. This poor fuck. I keep ruining his day. I have no bones to put that down. I'm not about to use the squirrel to put him down. He's got nothing coming on the board anyways. Game over, bitch. It's like the Family Guy mobile card game, but way cooler. So my, I didn't play that. <laughs> and why not? Ah, uh, the black goat again. The apotheosized goat, the truest offering. Sacrificing it gains three blood. A river snapper. Or me. Oh, I gotta take this one. Hmm. The amount of items you can carry is three, and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. A pack rat? Thanks, bud. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. I wonder what the hell that does. When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. That's pretty cool. Card games that require a meta or whatever, I can't wrap my head around. I don't think there's a meta to this. It's just kind of like... There's a bunch of different ways you can play it. Alright, so this is... Um, both of these are good. Cards and something... I don't know if I trust the fireplace. Oh, this is a battle. That's what that is. You have to be logged into Facebook, Riz. <laughs> Woo oh, I'm going to mess up your name very bad. I'm sorry. Sebereka? Seber if that's correct. If it's not, please tell me. Uh, welcome to the mob. Thank you for the follow. This fallow cabin. Um... 
if I dare may ask, if you'd like to let me know, how did you uh, how'd you find us here today? You just because we're playing Inscription, or did you see something in social media? Grand fur, boulder, skunk, and a sparrow with wings and defense against wings. You promoted my stream on your OnlyFans? That's so nice. I was looking for inscription streams. Oh well, thank you. Glad you uh, find your way. You found your way here. Uh, we're pretty fun. We typical horror game stuff. Um, one of our good friends here actually gifted me this game, and I figured I'd give it a shot. So thanks for dropping in. I'm probably not very good at this, so uh, my apologies if I do things that look really dumb. <laughs> this spot? You sure? <laughs> He's pissed. Okay. I need squirrels. The stoat will let you know if you suck. <laughs> I guess so. Don't worry, everybody makes dumb mistakes. <laughs> Why the fuck didn't he just die? Didn't he already only have one health? Did I miss something? <laughs> Alright, so the skunks won't hurt. The boulder can't hurt me. Only this guy can hurt me. So it says you suck if you make the best play ever. <laughs> it's me. I'm the stoat. <laughs> Alright, we can get a, get a wolf out there now. No! <sighs> it's still gonna hurt him, just to get rid of him. Alright, that's all I can do. If you swim in a river around the castle, you would be a moat stoat. It's a very good point. I need something other than the pack rat. Got a possum. Nice. See the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Well, I wouldn't earn anything by consi by killing you. I don't get XP or anything. I'm not going to obtain anything. I'll accept. Cool. <laughs> Riz, what? More cards, please. Black goat. The bullfrog. Watch the bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Elk fawn. The nascent fawn. It quickly grows into an elk. Okay. Hmm. I think I already have one black goat somewhere. I'm gonna try out the elk fawn. Yeah, you totally had him there, that's why he surrendered. Yeah, it makes sense. I was just kinda like, wait, what? What's happening? Your pack was full, but a small critter approached. He's very upset that I always said another pack rat. Damn it. Should have gone to the fire. Okay. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh. Okay. The mushroom under the card that means you already have that card. Thank you. I didn't I couldn't figure that one out before. I was like, okay. Get your hands out of here. So we got a porcupine, which that one is if I hit it. A single point damage. So I need to I have to hit it for two. And then a coyote. He hits for one. He hits for one. Fuck. We still have the cockroach, but he needs bones. I can only put the stoat on the board. He attacks for two. I've got three. Okay. Uh... Hi, Daddy. 
Jesus Christ. Candy. <laughs> Hello. I thought it was Polish for a second. <laughs> Candy, why? Okay. This guy hates me. I attacked. Oh, for fuck's sakes, there's two of them. I, I need more help. Okay, elk farm, but I need to... Shit. Because he wouldn't think it was me. <laughs> Fair enough. Get that spider out of here. That's gross. Alright, I'm going to keep the elk fawn away from everything. Let's... Let's burn the squirrel. Actually, no. I can just sacrifice him now. What am I talking? Well, mm, I don't want to get this thing killed, though. Let's use the squirrel. Fuck it. Fuck it. Sacrifice everything. I moved. Ow. I'm now an elk. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now, how many bones do I have? Is it just three bones? I can't really tell. I think it's three. The possum's a 1-1. One, one, just like the cockroach, but the cockroach can come back. I need more cards. Bullfrog. Okay. That's a good one. I'll hold on to what I have for now. Oh boy. Okay. I need to put that bullfrog in front of the sparrow for sure. Um, let's burn a squirrel. Now I technically have four. If the cockroach attacks once, it's gonna be good, but it's just, I don't think it's gonna be worth doing there. And the possum's gonna get, again, one, and it's gonna be gone forever. I think I'm gonna hold off on it. For now. Calm your titties over there, buddy. Sassy son of a swine. He really is. Resting sass face. <laughs> you overslept? Oh boy. Alright, it's even game. Um I need another card. You have me here, I surrender. Nice. Thank you, sir. Not bad. All right, so I can go. I don't need to go to the pack. We're done with the packs. Fire, and then what's that? That's the. Oh, that's at the. You basically surrender one. You combine two cards effectively. You take the soul out of one, put it in the other. Do I have anything good to do that with? I could take it out of the cockroach. Yeah, I could take it out of the cockroach and I could give it to the wolf or the stoat. I do like the stoat. He's a nice guy, but I think he doesn't die anyways. What did the stoat say? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. I will go look at that right afterwards. Um, I think we'll do that after. Yes. Let's do this now. Rule book. Oh yeah, so two seven three. Is it just two seven three? It could be just that. The fuck? Jesus, this book is massive. Two seven three. Okay. I keep doing that. Two seven three stink bug. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt is is the stoat around the stunted wolf. 
This madness must end. Put that away. Nope. What's in here? Now, what the fuck is this? Uh, okay, so this must be some type of... Interesting. Some type of puzzle. Game looks long, doesn't it? Puzzle time. Uh, it kind of does. Cargo sigil on a cheap card is great. Hmm. What did this? So oh, say we got that. Okay. So it's only gonna do four. How do we get this guy? Oh, he didn't let me do that before. Skink. I forgot that I had to put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Nice. Uh, this one actually has some thought to it. Oh, that one can't move. I see. I just swear it can't move. Ooh. All right, I want this one up there for sure. You stay back there. You go back there. You stay there. Two. That's three right there. That's confusing. Yeah, because that blocked it that time. I don't know how that works. The stink sigil does. Oh, right. I probably was what I wasn't thinking about. Portable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Cool. Ooh, there's more. All right, so you can't move. Hmm. Okay. I don't recall what these sigils are. No. That's crazy that just because he's here it does all it does four. Even though it's only a Oh but what does what is that symbol though? No one seems to check the ant sigil, but you should check the ant sigil. Alright, so there must be a place I can do that. In the rule book. I'm assuming. <sighs> oh, loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Interesting. Ant spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Okay. Doesn't seem to be very helpful. Like, 
cool it, it puts ants in my hands but i can't it's not like the ants are going in afterwards and helping these will move to the right by being creating tails That didn't work. There we go. Is that the ant spawner sigil on those, or is it just an ant? Just ant? Oh, I didn't realize there was two different things. Skink sigil does? Oh, I learned that it's skunk. I'm a dummy. Caged wolf. Curious. All right, one more. All right, so this is the porcupine one that does damage if it, um, if it gets hit, but it's not going to get hit, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Um, putting up there, I don't think it's going to be very helpful. Can't move this that way, but I can pull that away. Sure, sounds good. Um, this can't move either way, but this can move forward. I don't know what... That's the... All right, that's a thing I haven't seen yet. I'll take that for the three attack, though, please. This is complicated. I think they've all been pretty complicated after the first one. <laughs> like, do I do this? No, because that's just two. Then this way, there's three. Should be two. Okay. Back to three. Move this out of the way. Two. Two. What? How does that work? <laughs> I moved it to the other side. Okay, well, at least we're done with it. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. But yeah, I got my puzzles done, so that's good. I don't know how that works, but it works. See, good enough, I guess. I don't know why he blew that candle out. Whoops. So can't do anything with you. That's emptied. All right. Oh, and then these things. I need keys or something for those. All right, back to it. I don't recall what this one is. The much some type of um. Oh, it's the uh, it's the blood splatter. Um, I think I have enough cards. Let me go this way. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Bones, one or two. I kind of want more of these. Casey. A random card with the cost of one. Who the fuck is that? I found a dead person. What were you expecting? And now what is that sigil on Casey's? Bifurcated strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so you need to sacrifice somebody to take this sigil off here. The choice is yours. Inscription lore. Ant queen. All right, so I can look at these. Ant spawner, when it's card spawner, yeah. Create your hand, okay. 
the skink when a card bearing the sigil would be struck a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right okay it's so the move and that thing uh pack rat one of those yeah i want to i'm gonna get rid of the um let me get rid of the cockroach and who am i going to apply that to i'll go of course you will oh you could double up on even triple up on things Oh yeah, what is this one? The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. That's interesting. Huh. Why is there no, uh... oh, because he's caged. Interesting. Okay, so I want to basically keep this on some I know I'm going to want to keep for a while. And I think I'm going to keep it on... I don't want to put it on him. Because I feel like he... I sacrificed him once and he came back and he was still dead. Um, I don't need it on the pack, rats. Marvelous. Not you. Maybe on the Ant Queen. Yeah, why not? All right, here we go. Why did I lose it? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. The smoke. But he gets two. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector. Hee haw! You again. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. We got up here. Pack mule and a coyote. We're going to kill that pack mule. Coyote, and we got a boulder over there. And the smoke is just because we bonking. When a card bearing this sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, drop this now, I suppose. Actually, well, I don't have anything that needs bones, do Oh, it needs two. Okay. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Let's just put the stoat out there for now, I suppose. Yeah. Total misplay. You're a fucking dick. Enough. <laughs> All right. Give me... A squirrel. I'm gonna see what that caged wolf does. Insta death. I forgot about that. Shit. Um, okay. Let's see. Would I be able to? I get to go first, so I should be able to kill the adder with the caged wolf, I suppose. Why did he get to go first? 
Wait, uncage the... Oh, is that... Oh, that's the whole point! That's the whole point, it uncages them. Oh, that's cool. Huh. I need to do damage to that fucking pack mule. Do I have enough? No. Shit. You have the card. Okay. What do we got up here? Another coyote. I could sacrifice the smoke? Oh, I didn't think of that. All oh, right. Let me just see. I want to just look here first. Take another one. We got Casey. She has the split attack. That's interesting. Hold on to that. You know what? I'm just going to do this so it dies and I get it. And it'll save... Uh... So many bones. Damn it. Goofy uh, Casey. <laughs> Um, and when she gets hit, it also gives one hit point out. That's interesting, too. What is that? Borrower, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would move to that space to receive the strike instead. Interesting. I wish I could move them. Should have sacrificed the smoke. Yeah, I could have done that, couldn't I? Stop, draw a card. I keep forgetting. Ah. I will right, well, take this. And let's, uh... Let's put the stink bug out to kill the pack mule. I only have one, so that'd be a one hit. But he'd probably be... Yeah, but it's two... I'll be dead first, because he attacks first, which is stupid. Oh, now I attack first. More cards. There we go. Turkey Vulture. Dig, Mabbit. Hey, that's one. Not bad. There's Golden M cards. Oh, right. I forgot he does that. I forgot all about that. G -g gold. I've struck gold. Alright, so we're gonna get something in front of that coyote. The porcupine could do good. Raven. Turkey vultures. Eight bones. Interesting. Flying, flying. And I've got two squirrels as it is. Let's get another card. Elk fawn. Nice. Alright, now here. Let's take care of this asshole. Oh. Oh, what's wrong one? Oh. 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 Get him. Oh. 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 Are you done? Oh. 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 Oh, 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 oh. All right, she's got three. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look, do I have enough? Baby. I don't know if I do or not. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. I can use the turkey vulture. Let's fucking do it. Oh. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh one oh, off. Oh, 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 oh. He's hurting. Oh, oh, baby. One more attack will kill it, though, so that's good. And then this will get the attack else. I don't even need to do anything. I think let's grab a squirrel just in case. 
Nope, it's game over. Fuck yes. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Pretty soon you'll have your own skeleton. <laughs> Top 10 beatboxes of all time. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Long Elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. Ureuli? This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Holy fuck. Four fucking sacrifices? <laughs> or strange larva. A largely unimpressive specimen. <laughs> but it looks like he turns into something. Because it's a fledgling. But the question is, what does it turn into? I don't know. And then this guy has touch of death and the turn. When a card brings residual damage to another creature, that creature perishes. Ooh, four bones. One. Hmm. I just think this is insane. I, I want to take this just because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, I get that with the strange larva. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. All right, onward. Oriuli is hard to play, but good for other things. Hmm. You're right at the inky black mouth of a cave. Strange beast lurked within. It spoke, Pass one of my trials, now it'll be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. Very true, yeah, with the goat. The Trial of Blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. The Trial of Power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. The Trial of Health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Woof. Four blood. Four attack. Six health. I feel like four attack is probably the best uh, no because i have one card that will win that let's do the four blood let the trial of blood begin two boom i wish you well two from the wolf zero from the stink bug four from the uh Uri 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 Uri? i do have a lot of bone cards yes that is also true you have passed the trial the beast revealed itself. It was. It's airborne and has many lives in the card. Bearing this sigil of sacrifice does not perish. Doesn't hurt, but it also... Yeah, I'm not seeing why I'd want to get the cat. A beaver. Two. One hit. Four HP. Dam Builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a damage created on each empty adjacent space. A damage defined as zero power with two health. That's cool. And it has the stinky. And then the other one is another wolf. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Oh, and it's, and it's base 3 2. Everyone does love a good beaver. I kind of like the idea of the beaver because it could play defense in two different ways. The wolf, though, with the insta-kill is really nice, though. Stinky beavers need love, too. <laughs> Just for these comments, let's go for the beaver. The inhabited beaver joined your menagerie. Menagerie. 
Oh, he's gonna be mad. Oh, we know I get one more. Oh, look at that. Black goat. Thank you. Uh-oh, stinky. Time for a fight. Stump and a uh, bullfrog. Hmm. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I guess I, could, I can only put the worker in, worker in or Casey, but Casey is going to shoot off another direction and give one hit point on an attack. She has two hit points. This thing hits for one. Let's put Casey out there. I want to see what she's up to. That's the wrong button. Because she'll also attack the stump. And that's good for one hit. I know this. I definitely need a squirrel. And... I really should have put her here. Wasn't even thinking about that. Well, either way, it's going to do one hit point back, so it's going to be a... Unless I go first. Oh, it does actually matter, because I'm going to miss anyways. There we go. All right, this isn't good. Uh... Oh, my sweet Jesus. All right, I think it's I think it's time we gotta bust this dude out. Stay away from the adder. I don't want to get a one hit shot with that though. I forget sigil is perfect to hide behind rocks and stumps. How does poison insta kill a stump? Yes. <laughs> All right. Here we go with the squirrel. Get the black goat. Put the goat down. Oh, wait, sorry, right there. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I always forget it cost one. Shit. Yep. This is not good. I'm also put the wolf out then because it's going to... Do the, cause I only have one ant in my hand, so he's going to only do one damage. He's going to do three. Both have two health. I can't use him. As a stoat once said, total misplay. <laughs> stoat is judging me. All right, let's avoid the adder, because fuck that. All right, wolf. Fuck. I'm a beginner. Leave me alone. Oh, for fuck's sakes. And there's another one coming now, too. All right, we need to, uh, we need help. Let's put the boulder here in front of the rattler. And let's, uh, pull a tooth out and get a little bit of a little playing space back there. And uh, we'll put the squirrel, worker ant, Hopefully I get to attack first. I did. Now the wolf's dead. The boulder is also dead. I need another card. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Not good. Um, all right. Put this here. All right, Jug, can you do this for us? Oh, two and eight. <laughs> All right. Another, oh, I got the Ant Queen. That's nice. Can't do much with this though. I'll take the attacks. It's just swinging back and forth at this point. Um, right, okay. Yeah, I need to get squirrels at this point. 
We're not hurting each other. It's gonna be playing back and forth. Safe play, back and forth. Um, I need another squirrel. And that is this equals the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. And it's creating your hand, right? Okay. Um, and this will do one. I can go up against the bullfrog, or I can go up against the stump. I think I like the option of going against the stump better. The ant's creed. Okay. Now I'm gonna need another squirrel. I concede. Yes! If you stall for long enough, he will surrender. Oh, really? That's funny. I didn't think I was stalling. I was just looking around and thinking about ideas. Sick. I'll take a fucking win, though. Thank you much. All right, we could do the uh, the trial again. No, that's not the trial. That's something else. Or I can get more cards. Hmm. What do I have for cards right now? I have a lot of cards. I think I can... Means if you keep going back and forth, if the match goes on, like, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I've got one bone card. I've got two bone cards. Give me a bone card. You need more bone cards? Yeah. <laughs> Alpha. The venerable alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand behind it. Leader. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. That's fucking cool. Oh, it's that the rule book was over there. That was interesting. Okay, off to the fireplace. Don't try to eat us, please. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature on the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Oops. My phone! Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. No way. <laughs> so this is the one on attack. The last time I did this, it worked. You know what? I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Hopefully it works again. It did. The power of the jug was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Your jug death card would be very powerful. Yes. Because now it's going to have a four... Uh, well, I don't know. Does it double? Or just going to increase by... I mean, it's still another whole plus one anyways. Not jug. The jug. <laughs> okay, who we got up here? Bullfrog, cool. I've got a beaver, a pack rat, and a worker ant. Okay. I can put the worker <laughs> ant down. Be a one and two. Same as the bullfrog. All right, fine. Juggernauts. Yo, what's up, Angel Baby? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Ow. Um, we need squirrels. Attack again. Dead. What? Oh, I didn't attack the first time. That's right. Fuck. Okay, this isn't good. Um, fuck. I would like a random item, but the beaver could be super helpful. 
each empty adjacent space. Yeah, I think I gotta do that. Let's go get another squirrel. Let's pop the squirrels down. Let's grab the beaver. Boom, boom. And who's up here? A rattler? Okay, at least it's not an insta-kill bullshit. Put it here. Let's go. And it's a stinky zero and one. A formidable defense. <laughs> well, I know. He has a lot of shit. All right, I need more cards now. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Oh, so this must be a... You must become the card when you die. So there's one, two, and this is two bones. Hold off for now, maybe. Oh! All right, well, give me one of these for now. I gotta put the stink bug out there. Against what, though? Kill that rattler on the right with the stink bug. It's your only chance. Okay. Yeah, because he's got the most uh, hits. Right, right, right. What did he say? Good play. Oh, look at that. And I'm dead. <laughs> How disappointing. River Snapper. Kaminsky, which is one bone? What the hell is this? Guardian, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. And it dishes one when it gets hit. And it has one hit point. That is bullshit. Ah, the elusive otter, it submerged itself during my turn. Oh. So it can't get hurt. A card bearing the sigil submerged itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Huh. Okay. So it won't. This isn't a good defense, then. It's just there to just do damage and then disappear. Okay. Hmm. Stick about good moves. Stoat, you suck. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and that's the fire. Oh. Let's go to the fire. Welcome to sight. The ten hungry eyes are on it. Damp, damp the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health. Said one. A plus two on health. Pick something else. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Huh. What do you guys think? Do I just go all in on the jug card? Or is there another one I should probably oom oomph up a bit more? Just don't just trust those campers for a moment. No, definitely not. Do what you must. Hmm. Jug card, no context, full send. <laughs> you heard the man. Jesus. So the survivors are right about the flames. Jerry, I think it already has enough health, but I mean, if you want to do it. <laughs> they had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a nasty retreat with your jug. Uh, this is the different one because he has a totem. This one is a regular fight. So what's afterwards, you get bloods or bones or two cards plus a pack and then a choice between 
the combination stone and a fire. You know what? Let's do this way. Fuck it. What's special? You got everyone's flying? Okay. Greetings. Coyote, Kingfisher, and Sparrow both have defense against flying, which is fine. And water. Oh, yeah, the one that can go is underwater. Fucking great. Oh, yes, yeah, anti flying birds. Yeah. <laughs> so, who has the most damage on here? Is this guy. All right, Casey, your best bet is probably go here. Let's do it. Easy two points. And they can't hit her. But that's an easy three points for them. Shit. Um, let's get a squirrel. Attack, Casey. Can't attack that one. That thing's a piece of shit to try to kill. Um, how many? Uh, I only have one set of bones. Fuck. He can only do one damage. That thing does one damage. Oh, it's a river otter. Another shit. So this is guaranteed. I'm gonna get fucking nailed. That sucks. All right, Chug. Show us your worth, buddy. Not in front of that. And not in front of the otter. Can't put it. I, I have to put it here. All right. Oof. That sucks. <laughs> Ain't no bones about it. Got an ant queen. Okay. Can't do anything else. Miss, miss. Three. Casey's dead. Fuck. I could throw the stink bug up there. Because that's going to, um... It won't be able to do anything, but it's going to block this, this side out. That could block the sparrow back there. Jug's fucked, because this killer otter's going to... Uh, killer otter. River otter's going to show up and fuck him up. I feel like I should block it, because then I can't... Well, he's already blocked. I can't kill this fucking thing anyways. It would just be sitting there ready to die. Take another... Uh, let me take a squirrel. And let's put the stink bug here so I can do some damage, I guess. No. Because, again, I have the... It can eliminate both of these. Because he won't be... He can't fly around. I don't think. A card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Does that mean he can fly over this otter and hit me? Whatever the hell this is? I don't think it means that. Yeah, let's go here. Shall we? Oh! What up, mate? Rose... Roser... Holy shit. Rose Risey 1998. Sorry if I messed that up. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So I need to put something here to attack at this point because I can't hit the other three. I need another squirrel. There's another worker ant. Yeah, yeah. Um, how'd you, I'm, yeah, I'm assuming you found us through looking for this game. Just a guess. 
Yes! Oh, that was a rough one. Whoo! I remember this game, I never played it before. Oh, it's it's interesting. Very thoughtful. I need more bone cards for sure. Got a possum. Fire or, uh, I wanna go here, cause I have a lot of cards. Hello. Oh yeah, the elf is pretty cool. Creates adjacent to a card bearing the si yeah. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. I feel like I should take that off of alpha. Although I would lose the bone, I would lose the bones though. Mm, no. So I wonder if I use Casey, if it takes both of these. That'd be interesting. Although the River Otter with the 1-1 one, one is kind of bullshit. I feel like I could use this on something stronger. I think this is the right call. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> wow. So I want something that is low on health and probably low on attack as well. Actually, it'd be pretty cool if I could put it on this guy, as long as it doesn't overwrite, because what that would do, it would keep him safe, jump out, attack once, and consistently be increasing everyone else around him adjacent. I like that call. As long as it doesn't overwrite. If it overwrites, I'm fucked. Well, I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Awesome. That card is the toots. All right, boss fight time. Foul smell in your nostrils. Cause your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. My word. The angler. Mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Thank you. That's very helpful. Kingfisher. <laughs> Jesus fuck. God damn it, tree. Welcome in, buddy. Uh, I only have one move, really. Yeah, I'll hold off. Come and get the free hit. Oh, he aimed it. Look at that. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't realize he was going to move. Mine now, go fish. Jesus. Free what now? Dynamite was very good. Awesome. All right, so I have a squirrel. I don't want to hurt this squirrel. I want it to stay there because it's not going to hurt anything and it's going to keep the kingfisher back there. That's actually worked out better than I thought it was going to work out. Okay. 
can't hurt him, so I need to go here or there. But let's get let's get the pack right out there. I don't have any items. A boulder? Yeah. That's helpful. Which fish? Hard shoes. Shit. Well, that's not good. Yeah, good strat until this fuck just decided to... He's gonna take this card. There's nothing I can put down that's gonna be better than that. Unless he, unless he wants to take the stink bug. I thought it's two. Oh, I have to draw a card, right? Um, take that. Take new fish, easy. Oh, does it always switch to another one? Fresh fish, fuck. Okay. Do you know what I'll do? Pull the other squirrel over now. Take fish, go fish. Alright. Now give me... Well, I don't want to hurt them. Let me get another one of these cards, see what we got going on. Okay. Go ahead. Ooh, need to put this another one down. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Go fish. What is that? Bait bucket. <laughs> okay, so now I should put something down. What does this do again? We struck a tail screen in its place and the card being decision moves to the right. Okay. I don't think I have room for that one. No, I'd, uh, if I put it here, I would. Or the worker ant. It's only going to have a one anyways. He's chumming the waters. Oh, God. Don't tell me that. All right. Let me take another squirrel. There's this one. Put him here. Oh. I didn't think of that. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's not good at all. They're going to be submersive. I mean, these two would have knocked those two in anyway. Although, yeah, it would have knocked those two in anyways. So, I've just doubled. I just... 50% chance fuck myself there. Great. Oh, my God. Another bait bucket. It's hard to call it cowardly. Oh my god. Bro, what? Um, how am I going to combat this? Unless I get my one random card that has that. That could help. There's the boulder. Oh, you know what? Put the boulder here so the skink won't move. Because I don't want him to go in front of the that fucking thing. And then this is blocking it. Yeah, okay. Alright. And we save our squirrels. The bait bucket moves? It doesn't matter, I just died. There's no... Huh, go fish. There's no way. My there... disappointment is immeasurable. Angler is hard, yeah. I can see my that. My day is ruined. 
God damn. Stay there, no need to move. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. Hold still. I'm not sure what's going on, but my asshole is in danger. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? Right here? Take a picture of you, dickhead. Pathetic, do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. So it does turn you into the card. Behold, your death card. Should I begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. The cost? Let's do a, uh, let's do a, a, a bone card. Cost two bones to the possum. And uh, another stem will use its power and health. The numbers. That's weird. I wonder how that would actually hurt. Probably just with the ant again. Um, so basically one, how many ants you have, one. And then a two, three, or four. I guess I'm going with the beaver. And now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Ooh. Move to the right and double up or plus one to each side. I guess I already have that from the plus four there. And then this is the slink. Or the slink, it's the skink, so we can move over to the right. Gross thing behind it. Alpha? Really? Okay. Because I guess I could get that in half as many bones. You don't keep your cards? Oh, duh, that's right. Very smart. And a sigil of waterborn from the alpha. Sick. I never did ask you your name. This one is Sam. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. There it is. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Damn. I'll give it one more go. I think I got time for that. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impaled on the angler's hook like the one who came before? It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. And what's this? No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Uh, so wolf, deer, or dragon? Oh, oh, snake. Okay, cool. Ranch only reptile. Okay, I'll take the adder. That's good. Do you wish for something else? I can't really ask for anything else. Thanks. Sock puppet. Next. What is this? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Oh! Fucking goddamn. Anonymous door slam. Um, I love the submerging thing. Like, it still hurts your own, like, like, me, and, like, it counts against us, but it's really helpful, I feel. Now, Jug, before you pick, think about what you're building. I would want something that has low health, but... This is a lot of damage to have that. Or or we could build like a tank. Has lots of health, not all the damage, but still dishes out the plus one every time. Or this one. We're gonna be attacking two things at once. 
These are bodies. <laughs> okay. Mm. Also, I like how that thing's over here now. What's the head? Looks like a duck. I mean, it kind of looks like a duck. Like the little beak right here. Or they're frogs with hats on their heads. I think, oh, that thing I got from the drawer, it's like a mole. Or some type of rodent. The squirrel? Oh, okay, I got the rodent part right. All right, so we're building, we're, so it's effectively gonna build out a squirrel then. So I'd assume a squirrel's not gonna have lots of attack power or health for that matter. So maybe putting the the middle one on it would be a good idea because it could still dish out one damage every round and it's still going to be there every time because it can't get killed. Unless, of course, there's some bullshit with uh, the angler pulling the card away anyways, which I hope that wouldn't be the case. Fuck it, let's do it. Nifty. I don't know off the top of my head, but it's not a lot. Oh my god, no! I still had it in my head that it was a mole, and I was like, I've seen moles, they do damage. <laughs> Fuck. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The waterborne sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. <laughs> uh, well, I could play defense with them, right? Not really. They don't do damage, and then there's no defense. There's the D&D &D door logic I expected. Fuck you, tree. I just missed the detail. And he's got the same fucking thing. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. I don't know what that means, but okay. I got a porcupine and a coyote that can apparently swim. And it does two damage. God damn it. Yeah, I, I will. Fine. <laughs> All right, give me a squirrel. It's a bullfrog versus bull uh, versus porcupine. Okay. Um. Fuck it. Uh. Fucking kill this thing. Why do you get to go twice? What was that shit? Well, that's a bunch of fucking shit. What up, stink bug? Alright, I'm gonna put that over here. Mm. 
Masterful. Oh, right, right. I just saw, it looked, I, it looked like the other one would attack, uh, attack the second time, but it really didn't. Um, okay, see where that gets me. That stings. <sighs> you just think you've got me this time. Wow. I didn't think so. Thanks. Alright, here's this old lady again. Oh, I know this thing. So it's bird, reptile, or mammal, I guess. Um, I don't think of anything that flies right now. Let's go for something that's flying. Kingfisher, even better. Sock puppet. <laughs> the adept kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Now, what's this? Ah. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Okay. So now... I can choose between... I think it's an adder and kingfisher to put on top of something that can fly. Well, if the bird can already fly, what's the point of having the bird fly twice? I feel like I'd want to make the reptile be able to fly. Or am I just picking a portion and then I'm getting another piece afterwards? I sure as shit don't want to pick this thing. It's going to give me another fucking squirrel head. Now I'm getting it. So am I picking two from here? Or am I picking one here that's going to double up with what's back here? Because if, if it's like if I grab a head and it goes onto that, she's giving you one piece. Use it to build your totem. Right, so is there a second round that comes out of three? Or is it just like if I pick a head, it goes to the body, but if I pick a body, it goes to the head over here? Because I don't want to pick the flying thing and then it just ends up being a fucking flying squirrel. Because <laughs> that would suck. You have one body and one head right now. Yep. Oh, are the parts interchangeable? Yeah, okay. It just dawned on me too. All right. Cool. I like that. Grabbing the bird wouldn't be helpful then because that's basically a kingfisher I already have. Um, flying squirrel is stupid. Yeah, I'm grabbing this one for sure. And then you go on that. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Only when you see her. Okay. Uh, totem fight? Non-totem fight. You know what? Let's have the advantage for once. Let's go to a fight with... Wait, what the, what the fuck's the pickaxe? Well, now I'm intrigued. Oh. Is there... Oh, yeah. Let me walk around first. Maybe I can read in the book. So is there something that explains to me There's boons in this too? Jesus. There's so much shit. All right, so maybe it doesn't explain to me what the pickaxe is, since this is actually for the game versus the... Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, okay. 
That's not helpful. Nothing I do with those. This changed. Interesting. I still don't know how to get this dagger. Are these more puzzles I can do? Every time? My word. Oh, nope, never mind. So, those are already all, these are all junk. Funk. Well, that's not good. I'm just doing a double check. Maybe I'll get lucky. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh. Oh! Where do you go? Where does this thing fucking go to? Can't do anything with those. I can't put that in here. Can't put it there. I can't do shit with that. Oh! Oh! You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. What does that mean? What does that mean, dickhead? All around the world, statues crumble for me. All right, so that's done. Um, I want to figure this one out. This seems interesting. And then the cuckoo clock of doom over here we'll figure out at some point. And you got some, like a mace and a hammer. Okay. Interesting. So I don't know what this pickaxe does, and I want to know what it does. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Bro. Totem fights! It's me. Salutate? What the fuck is that? He's not looking too good. We got a boulder here, and we got a... What is that? A, it's a longhorn? And he attacks to the side, and then I think he moves to the right when he gets attacked. Okay. Does... I think I'm going to put down... My bullfrog... Right here. Because he's eventually going to move his way over again, I get stuck. And damage too. Doesn't hurt that. Moves to the right. Perfect. Okay, now I need another squirrel. Um, let's go ahead and put the stoat out. Not there though, because he's going to get hit by the pronghorn. Who would kill him in one shot. Keep me alive. No. Oh, it moved again? What the fuck? Ooh. Special adder. Um, that takes two, though. You take two bones. And this would make it so it wouldn't hurt. Ooh. Stinky. Choose those two bones up. Nice. Okay. 
Give me a squirrel. Attack. Nice. It doesn't hurt. Nice. Grab another squirrel. Boom. Slowly but surely. Surely. <laughs> inch by inch. And then they're going to show me something new and I'm going to get fucked up again. You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If and you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Show me where to strike. Um, completely random. Okay. Hey, he hot his gold. I could barely abide giving it to ye, but a promise is a promise where I'm from. Sick. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how to merge a card. There's two cards here. Save that card. Okay. Alright, so who do I wanna take? I don't wanna get rid of the reptiles because they have the special totem going on. I don't wanna get rid of the kingfisher either. Although it'll take both of those though. And it's only a 1 1. Yeah, let's go for the kingfisher. And then who are we going to attach it to? Am I your choice? Your choice? <laughs> oh, it's golden pelt. That's interesting. Alright, so... He's already going to be underwater. He's already going to be underwater. Let's give it to the wolf. I think that would be fun. Okay, time for a fight. Wolf cub. Not gonna be able to attack him because the stump's in the way. Damn. And I got nothing that hits sideways. Okay. Let's try to avoid the boulder for now, I think. I'll put something strong there to take care of it. Um, I should get the... Both of these have the underwater ability, but Bullfrog I should put in first and, start, and just block off a lane. The question is here or here? Over here, I guess. Okay. Squirrel immediately, please. Oh, what does this thing do? Special dagger to the user. You will place a weight on the scale as the pain is temporary. Oh, God. It's just like this one over here. Do I put the stoat out and start pecking away at the boulder? Because that's just a regular wolf. It's just going to attack me the whole fucking time. Yeah, why don't we put this stone out here? You sure? No, I'm not. Okay. Squirrel. Oh, fuck me. I got fucking benched. I hoped for more. Jesus. Alright, I did not play that one right at all then. What in the fuck? You're gonna binary the fuck out of me like that? I can't translate that right now. Black goat or elk? Uh, I think the black goat's probably a good bet. This time I'll use it right. I uh, go to the fire. 
decapitate something or combine again. Let's do this thing. I haven't seen it before. At least I don't think I have. Oh no, it's this one. You okay. are bewitched. Bewitched be delight. You'll reach the night dancing and singing to my what fiddle, so take my hand and understand that no one will see you again. You are bewitched. You are bewitched. Alright, so this is a. Uh... Looks like a wolf, and this is an, uh, you know, deer or elk. Um, or do I grab the different body for the stinky poos? Hmm. I don't think I have any. Like, dude, there was an elk car, but I didn't take it. This is the body, but I want to keep the body. I guess I'll just do this guy. But I still like having the snakes. Or the reptiles, because I have two reptiles. I think I'm going to still stick with the same thing. Oh, you hunched down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. A poof. All right. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged in the fog. The Prospector. <laughs> prospector boss again. I need to remember to not put good cards out there right away. I don't even know what the hell that thing's gonna do. Now, what does this golden pelt actually do? Is this, is this three dragon ant? Ant, a three dragon ante? No, this is an inscription. Um, I wanna know what the fuck this thing does. Cause like, I, I it's valuable. All right, so I want something to kill it then. Don't, oh, don't lose, so hold on to it forever? Because I feel like I should put it out there and let it get killed. It doesn't do damage. It's just like a, it's like a defensive mechanism. Maybe when it breaks, something good is inside of it. It's not useful in combat. No, I know. I understand that it's a defense it's a defense structure with three health but if it breaks is there something inside of it is my point I'm gonna keep it unless you're gonna die and can't help wasting it okay fair enough all right well you know what how about this I'm gonna put the stoat in front here Bad play? What are you talking about? You're gonna fuck up this pack, mule. Use it, who cares, YOLO. Alright, now... I'd rather not use the adder yet. What else do I have? A black goat. I just can't do much with that. Okay. Boulder's dead. Not good. So this is two, one. Use, I gotta draw something first, okay. Let's grab this. Let us use the squirrels let us put in the adder that just does one damage he does two let's put him here i have to and let's use this guy to rip out a tooth give me some leeway back let's go to town
Okay. Stink bug. Thank fucking Christ. I just got really quiet. Fuck yeah. Yo. My mule in her pack. Oh. Okay. I don't have any more bones. I think that was all the bones I used right there to put stink bug out. Um, and nothing else up there. The weakest thing I could put down right now is probably the porcupine. So we'll do that. Stop draw a card. I'm very smart. I'm sorry. I got this squirrel. Porcupine. A fucking mole. God damn it. Okay. Um. I'm also get ready with another card. Oh, the bullfrog. Nice. Nice. He doesn't do damage. Take the last card. It's the wolf. Got him. Alright. Now the, I, I lost all those guys now, which sucks, but... Golden M cards. Quick, Adder, go down! I struck gold! Yeah, I can't do anything. Sucks. Get him. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, he's got the the dog. Yeah, it's. Let's put the... I can't put the wolf in yet. Shit. I need two spots. I can only put the uh, bullfrog in. Squirrel. Bullfrog. He's gonna die on this one. You're still gonna get one hit off, though. Fuck. Um. Oh, the dagger. Oh. I pulled an eyeball out. Yeah, I had to use the eye there, I think. Alright, let's see. I don't think I have anything that's one or nothing. Oh, the black goat. But I need to, I'd have to put one squirrel down. You got bones for the coyote. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, good call. Nice. You survived this time. All right, I'm not gonna do anything else here. Take your swings. Oh, two more. Another one. I think we got him. Let's go. That was close. That was...
Like share my with you so we can like do these things. Okay, like, I have a 